Here we're looking at a couple other examples of exponential functions. Uh, this first one is interest that's compounded continuously. Now we've talked about compound interest before, but it's always been in terms of annual compounding or semi-annually or quarterly, where we had a definitive uh, number of times per year. This one is compounded continuously, just like constantly. So as soon as you hear that word or see that word in the problem, you're going to know it's related to this formula here, where P of T is equal to P E to the R T. I call it the PERT formula. Okay, P is still the principal, R is still the rate, which we express as a decimal, and T is time in years. Okay, the only difference is we note that it's compounded continuously, so we don't have that one plus R over N thing, we have an E here instead, okay? And we are, we have an example, $3,000, 4% compounded continuously for five years. So here's our P, our R, and our T, and we plug them in. Now I do want to remind you that when you're putting this in your calculator, you're going to take your 3,000 times, and you don't even have to hit times, you could just go straight to your E, it opens the parentheses on the exponent, so put the entire thing in there. Do not close it until you're done, and then hit enter. Okay, so we get three thousand six hundred sixty-four dollars and about twenty-one cents. Another example of uh, exponent using exponential uh, functions is something called carbon dating. Now, this is actually based on the half-life of carbon. Um, that's the amount of time it takes for half of carbon to be present from what it initially started as. Here's our formula. It says P of T is equal to P sub zero, which is the original amount of carbon, times E to the negative point zero 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 one two T. Okay, so archaeologists have uncovered a tomb. They have five sarcophagi that have mummies. And the mummies have lost 33% of their carbon-14, so can we estimate how old they are? We don't know how much they started with, but we know they've lost 33% of the original, which means what? They have 67% of the original still remaining. So the answer here would be 67% of whatever the original was. 67% is 0.67 of original means times the original, so times our P sub 0. So here's our equation, 0.67. P sub 0 equals P sub 0 e to the negative point zero 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 one two t. I have an exponential equation to solve for t then, so I need to isolate this part with the e, right, the exponential part, so I'm going to divide through by the P sub 0 on both sides. Fortunately, that means there's no extra variables anymore, it's just all numbers. So now we take the natural log on both sides. And we're doing that because that allows us to apply the power rule, which means that this exponent is going to come out on the front side. And the natural log of E, we always can drop out. So we have this ln of 0.67 equals negative 0.00012t, divide through by that coefficient, and we get approximately 3,337 years.